Do you really need a VPN? That is what we're going to be talking about in this video. I get asked the question a lot. What we're going to be talking about today is the three main areas of surfing, downloading and streaming. So that's the three areas I want to talk about and it's going to be in layman's terms. If you're looking for a technical VPN video, there's plenty on YouTube right now. It's just going to be using my experiences and basically my advice. So if you're looking for something a little bit more technical, then I would click away, but hopefully you won't because you might just learn something. So let's crack on with the video. So the first aspect we're going to talk about is general surfing. Now I'm going to break this into two categories, surfing at home using your Wi-Fi at home and also on the go. First of all, let's tackle general surfing using the internet at home. Is there any need for a VPN? Well, short answer is no. There is no need for a VPN if you're just going to be doing general surfing on websites, Gmail, whatever, you know, YouTube, not a problem. Just use your regular Wi-Fi without a VPN, nothing is needed. There is one aspect where if you're talking about security, it's nothing to do with a VPN that you should be concerned about. And that is, I'm going to use an example of a local celebrity in Scotland that were hacked by cyber criminals. So what happened was that cyber criminals parked outside their house, used special communication, wireless communication device that basically hacked in and used the default password on their router. The, the software enabled them to find out what the router was and what the default password was, used that default password, and then they hacked into their banking details and managed to steal thousands from them. Now, the easiest way to get around that is to change your Wi-Fi password. It's as simple as that. So if you've got still using your default Wi-Fi password on your router, change it now and keep yourself safe. So that's us covered for general surfing in the home. But what if you're not in home? What if you are out and about? Well, if you're going to be using public Wi-Fi, then this is for an area where you may need a VPN. Now, if it really depends on what you're going to be using the public Wi-Fi for. If it's just using for general surfing, as in streaming content for music or for video, then you fine, you will not need a VPN. If there's any instance when you're using any of your own details, now suffice to say any sort of password, uh, your name, your address, postcode, uh, any sort of personal details and you're using public Wi-Fi, then my advice is use a VPN on your phone, on your tablet. That way you will be completely protected. Another way to get around that is if you've got plenty of data, then use the 3G or 4G network. As long as you're using 3G or 4G network, you're completely safe, no VPN is needed. So there we go, surfing is ticked, done. Next aspect I'm gonna be talking about now is downloading. So you want to download a file, you know, maybe an installation file for maybe Netflix or Gmail or Google, YouTube, any of these sort of ideas, maybe it's Microsoft Office, anything like that, completely safe. You will never need a VPN for that. Now, if you think there is anything suspect about the download, again, you don't need a VPN for that. What I would advise is if you're ever downloading anything is make sure it's virus checked. So get a virus checker, that way you'll be safe. But in terms of VPN for downloading, not needed at all for general downloading of files. The other downloading that you may or may not do is peer-to-peer -peer networking downloading, as in torrenting. Now, if there's any torrenting going on in your household, you will definitely need 
a VPN. Now this is dependent on where you live in the world, but generally if you live in the UK, and I'm sure some areas of the US as well that I, that I know of because I've been told so uh, by my subscribers, is that you will need a VPN. Some people have even got an email from their ISP to say that you've been using a torrent site before they've even finished downloading. It's been that quick. ISPs come down really, really hard on torrenting now, and a lot of the time you will not even be able to access the site, the torrenting site, without the use of a VPN. So if you're going to be doing any torrenting, whether it's legal torrenting or the other kind, then you will definitely need a VPN, 100%. Okay, streaming now. Now, streaming can be a little bit complicated. I'm just going to talk a little bit in detail about what aspects of streaming that I'm referring to. Now, if this is streaming using any sort of your well-known sites like Amazon, Netflix, uh, Spotify, iTunes, stream away, you'll never need a VPN for that. In fact, a lot of VPNs will not work with Netflix or Amazon, especially Amazon. Amazon Prime, for example, uh, there's a couple of VPNs that will work with Netflix, as far as I know, but the main one uh, that everybody knows about is uh, IP Vanish, for example, does not work with Netflix. If you have tuned into, you've got your VPN on, it will then come up with a message basically saying you need to turn it off before you can continue with your streaming. And that aspect of it, you will never need or be able to use a VPN for general streaming. Now, if it's another sort of streaming, as in the, let's see, it starts with an I, ends in a V, that sort of streaming, then, now this is the bit where I can tell you about my own experience, and this is only my experience, is, that lately my ISP has basically uh, throttled my network. Uh, my download speed is 350 megabits. It's lightning fast. But if I ever use the service that we're all talking about here, it starts with an I, ends with a V, what will happen is it'll work for 20 seconds and then start, maybe not even 20 seconds, five seconds, and then we'll get a little spinning wheel until I turn my VPN on and then I get uninterrupted coverage. Now that's just happened in the last few months. I live in the UK, uh, I'm with Virgin Media. Your results may vary, but that is what's happened with me. So I always, always have my VPN on. So if you are experiencing similar, you know, you're getting buffering, for example, why not try turning on a VPN and seeing how your results may vary? Now that is just my experience. A lot of people will say, no, if your ISP is uh, blocking your content, you won't be able to access it at all. Well, that's not the case. You will be able to access it. You'll be able to access it for a few seconds and then you'll get the spinning wheel. So yes, you will definitely need a VPN in my circumstances and if you want to use those types of services, which I highly recommend, cut that call. So there you go, we've covered all the aspects of using a VPN in your house. If you want to use a VPN, which VPN should you use? Well, there are many, many out there. I would recommend two, IP Vanish and Nord. There's an actual third one, which I've been contacted, and I have yet to test it out, uh, but they say that it works with Netflix, so you can get geographical content from outside of your country. So if I wanted to access US Netflix, I would be able to using this VPN. So, and they also say that it's got an app for the Fire Stick. So if you're interested in that, why not click that subscribe button and ring the bell? for a future video on that VPN. 
And if you're looking to use a VPN or you're interested in finding out more about a VPN, use the links on screen or in the description. I recommend IP Vanish. They're doing a very good deal until the end of the month. Nord also do very good deals for two years. So they're the two that I recommend, but there's many more out there. One thing I don't recommend is free VPNs. I just don't see the point in using them. You're using sensitive data and you want to encrypt it. So why would you, you know, why would you let that be in the hands of someone that you're not paying for? In other words, it's not as, well, protected, I would just say, my personal opinion, I would just say it's not completely protected. But that's just, as I say, my personal opinion. So hopefully you've learned something. And if you've got anything to add to it, please put them down in the comments section because sharing is caring. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all well. Bye-bye.